Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. The National FFA organization has been around for years and was founded well before computers and technology were intertwined with agriculture. But today, many farmers rely on technology and data in their fields. To reflect those changes in the industry, FFA has started a partnership with Microsoft. And an Indiana school is leading the charge in helping the company and organization define what the program will be for schools across the country. Brock Turner has the story. Alicia Dickerson doesn't have a lot of time off between teaching and her work with the FFA. But when she does, say when school suddenly called off, she's still getting things done. It was actually a snow day, and so I didn't have anything to do, so I wrote a grant on a snow day. That snow day grant was for Farm Beats. Hauser High School is the only school in Indiana, and one of just a few in the Midwest with the technology. The project's pitch is pretty simple. Microsoft provides the technology to measure soil conditions, while schools give their feedback and tell the company how to improve it. Dickerson, or Mrs. D as she's called by many of her students, has a number of other opportunities for her kids. She believes, though, this one is unique and offers an access to technology that other programs simply can't. As we mechanize agriculture and get more efficient in the way that we are GPS planting our crops and um, using GPS technology to identify hot spots in our fields and doing all of that stuff, the kids are getting interested in the fact that they can do that, they can program, um, they can be involved in agriculture that way. Like many small rural districts across Indiana, Hauser has a limited budget. Unlike other districts in rural parts of the state, though, Hauser's enrollment has increased over the last five years, according to data from the Indiana Department of Education. That enrollment increase affords administrators the opportunity to invest in new programs and facilities, like the one they're currently building. Prepare and process the tilapia in the kitchen and then use them later. So uh, same with all the vegetables that we grow in the greenhouse and everything that we do um, so they can see the whole process. Hauser is one of a handful of districts in the state offering a computer science program. And that's something Dickerson credits in the development of her program. It has really connected the dots for them. The computer science program that we have at Hauser and the ag program are two of the few extra um, electives that we offer to the kids. And so we've really tried to work together so that both of our programs can benefit. And I saw this as an opportunity for that as well. While Dickerson still teaches students on more traditional topics like raising livestock, cooking, and welding, she says changes in the industry pushed her to adapt the program. We're seeing a need in industry. We've talked to you know, some of our local industries, Toyota Cummins, um, even some of our local industries in Hope, that need kids that are able to do specific things. So whether that be um, program the robots that are running something on the line or weld or whatever it is, um, they can't find kids that are ready to go to work. And that's just as true in Silicon Valley as it is in Hope. It's very, very, very thin. There's not many students that are equipped with both sides, that is having a good background, good knowledge of agriculture and people and students who are equipped with these skills. And this is where we realize that we need to bridge the gap. Chandra says Farm Beats is a work in progress. The company hopes to learn from students and better understand their needs. Doing that, he says, will go a long way to achieving the program's long-term goals, like building a robust talent pipeline. While we are building this product, it's important for us, so we are thinking of it globally. Part of it is what we are building at Microsoft, but we want to bring this technology to farmers right now, as well as farmers of the future, which is where FFA is such an important partnership for us. We are working with the FFA on a, a curriculum around data and data-driven agriculture for 700 students. While not all students in the program say it's altered their career paths, many say it has opened their eyes to how technology can be used in their classrooms. Hope FFA is using the program to test soil characteristics in their greenhouse, like water levels and temperature. The coolest thing was learning actually how to do it, because whenever I first started, I had no clue even what Farm Beats was. So it was really cool to see, like, if I put this into the soil, it'll tell me this, and um, just seeing how all of this comes together. 
And helping students make those connections is what keeps Dickerson coming back year after year. To continue to connect the dots in agriculture. And um, I mean, agriculture is an industry that we always will need and we always have to have. And so we have to continue to modify what we are doing to meet the demands of our consumers. And so they need to understand that and be able to have educated conversations about it and um, go out and, and do things and change the world. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Brock Turner.